Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and this is my corner and welcome back or welcome if you're new. So today's other video or this video if you're just watching it is about uh, John Milton's Paradise Lost and this is a part one video because I'm trying to keep them short and I'm only halfway through um, book nine. So the way that I'm doing it, I am reading from my Norton Anthology um, book and this is the um, fifth edition of this book. Um, you can get it on Amazon and in probably most bookstores um, it's quite the volume to have. Um, but for my university course we have to do preliminary reading so this is part of that. So there's book three, nine and another book. But John Milton's Paradise Loss is separated over I think nine or, but nine or ten books. Um, and it's basically a take on the, a fictional take or retelling of the original uh, chapter from the book of Genesis. So the book of Genesis tells about the, uh, Adam and Eve, the fall of Lucifer, like, um, and the expulsion of Adam and Eve from uh, the Garden of Eden. Um, that, from what I remember in the book of Genesis, pictures or um, shows... Lucifer or Satan as being the ultimate evil, etc. But in this, hail Satan. That's basically okay. Read for Satan. That that's that's what it is. The best character in this, and I know that I've seen other videos that say the same, um, is Lucifer or Lightbringer, as he's called. Many Game of Thrones fans will pick that up. But he is someone that didn't necessarily want to bow down to God or God's new creation of man. He wanted complete and absolute um, sovereignty over everything. But God was like, nah, man, not happening. It. And just punted him right out um, after a long, lengthy war. And they were put down to the, the, the lowest level of hell for him to rule. And he basically says, better to be um, a ruler of hell and a slave of heaven, which is fair enough. And then he goes on this kind of rampage of trying to get into the Garden of Eden, but God's omniscient, omniscient, I can't even say it. God's all seeing, okay? God is all fucking seeing at this point. He's like, mm, I see you sneaking in. Might have to do something about that. Pint you back out. But Lucifer is a stealthy mofo by all kind of standards. So he manages to slip in under the guise of a snake and from a distance kind of watches Eve and Adam and then tries to separate them two, waits for his moment for Eve to be parted from Adam because Eve thinks different than Adam does. And even though they're flesh of flesh, they are um, two different people. And there's passages in this that are... Um, just utterly about Lucifer's feelings towards all this and God's disregard of them and how he wants them to serve and bow down and not give them free will or knowledge and um, that they shouldn't and, and that it's silly for him to have this tree of knowledge, the apples, um, and forbidden fruit that um, he can't they're not allowed to touch but you put it there anyway like that's my question my biggest question is why the hell did you put it there you know if you are all seeing all knowing all everything why did you put your apple tree there you know of knowledge if it's all there and if you want them to be subservient then why did you put that there I think perhaps maybe Lucifer would agree that that was a flaw on God's part. Um, but John Milton in this seriously seems to lean towards Lucifer and his not so much as um, wanting to have sovereignty, but giving knowledge because God threatens Adam and Eve saying, if you eat from this tree, then you will suffer death. But they don't even know what death is, at least within this book. It is pointed out that they don't know what death is. Um, so they're then tempted by the snake, which is Lucifer, and guys, 
and Eve is asking how he got all this um, ability to talk, to speak and be such a beast where no other beast around her has the ability to do so. And he tells her what it is and how it came to be. Basically slimed up the tree and ate some of the fruit and soon enough he had a certain amount of humanity humanity within himself and to be capable of speaking in such a manner. Um, so she eventually decides, okay, I've been convinced, I will eat and I will find out what death is and I will find out what all this and that next thing. And then she convinces Adam to follow suit. Um, and he does because your flesh of my flesh and he doesn't want another Eve because he would have to lose another rib and he doesn't know if he'd be someone else without that. Um, so that's the gist of it just now. I will make another video once I get to the end of this and I'll give you full thoughts on it. But if you want to get fancy about it, it is not written in rhyme. Um, where is it? It's written in blind verse. Ambiatic pentameter, I think it's called. Um, if I'm saying that incorrectly, please someone put it in the comments and let me know. Um, but I would so far recommend this as a read. It is dense, it is highly dense, and it is just longhand, ongoing poetry on and on and on and on. Um, and I think it would be worthwhile for me to sit and kind of study this a bit more once I finished it and I get back to you about it. Um, I actually think this would be really good in Scots as well um, as a dialect or standard Scottish English, which is basically how the way I speak. Maybe a bit, bit more of an accent put in, but I still think that would be pretty awesome. Um, I'm quite surprised by John Milton in this way, but after learning about the man himself, he has, he knew like, but. 10 different languages before he was in 29. I feel put to shame. I feel really dumb. <laughs> like, I should know these things. Why don't I know these things? But he was such an ambitious man as well. But you can see where he falls in line with Lucifer in a way. Um, and he's also like during the 1600s as well. So he's heavy into spirituality, into God and questioning things and how things have been written and, and put but we'll get more into that in another in another video once I get to the end of this. But anyway, I'm Lauren, and this is my corner, and this has been uh, Paradise Lost by John Milton. Um, if you like this, please put a like button, hit the like button, and also um, leave some comments below. Subscribe, share with people that need it. If you're an academic person or you're a person that's at university and doing an English degree or, or a module that's related to it, please leave comments down below. Let me know what uni you're from, uh, what are you studying, get us interested, get us talking. And also, please do make sure to check out my uh, Asking Questions uh, series of interviews. I'm hopefully going to get a few more on the go pretty soon. They seem to have went down really well. So I'm Lauren, this is my corner, and thanks very much for your time. Bye!